Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maurice Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city or Animal Crossing City folk. And it is Sunday because we're still a day behind. Oopsie, and now I'm picking up our pass. I really wish there was a way to lock these, but there we go. Um, it's raining, it's kind of a miserable day, but I think we have a couple of things to look forward to today. I'm hoping the fountain is done, the latest town project, and I'm hoping our shop has been downgraded. I don't think Nookington's is going to be closed for two days in a row. It might be, but I'm thinking it's only closed for a day, so today we should have one of the previous upgrades. So we're downgrading, I believe. So it is raining and it is Sunday, so we should be in time to find Joan as well. Joan should be... Actually, have we got any money? No, we have no money because we were busy buying things at Gracie's shop, which reminds me, we've got a bunch of things that we need to um, put in our house. These are all from Gracie's shop. And we're gonna take out the Mario furniture because it's just too noisy. There's too many things going on with the Mario furniture. And we're gonna start building out the, our Gracie collection. Uh, but first, we probably need to go and find Joan. Actually, I can see the shop from here. And we have downgraded <laughs> to a Nook Way. So is this the, yes, this is the third one, isn't it? So we'll go inside in a little bit. Oh, is Vesta there? Hello, Vesta. We need to probably find the money rock because we need some um, bells so we can, uh, oh, <gasps> I can hear it. We have it. A fountain and tour timer. Or Tortimer. Wow, that is close to the bus station, isn't it? We don't have much room at all there. And it's very close to the pond as well. I'm glad our tree didn't disappear, though. Yay, we finally have it. Okay, let's talk to... Oh, we've been waiting so long for this. Uh, good news, Maury. Our new fountain is finally done. It's like a day late. It should have been done yesterday. But I'm guessing you have to be the main profile or player one, maybe, for it to work. Because um, it wasn't triggered yesterday. Uh, our new fountain is finally done, and today is the opening ceremony. Of course, I use the term ceremony rather loosely as all of our funds have been depleted by the fountain. <laughs> but you should smile because smiles are free, and because party hats cost money. Hey, you're wearing a hat. Wait, I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> oh, is that all you have to say? This is our fountain. This is so cool. I believe on the hour it does, like... A fancy uh, like fountain show maybe and I believe we can also summon Serena in this fountain but we can't do it with tour time here so we'll have to wait until tomorrow for that. Moriland sure has seen a lot of improvements since I first became mayor. Never let it be said that tour timer ignores the little guy. I, I, I think we did a lot of the work actually I think I think we should be mayor. Well, there we go. We finally have the town fountain. Super exciting. It's like the... It's kind of like where Public Works Projects first started. They actually started, I think, on the Japanese exclusive E+. Uh, but in the West, this is kind of the first time we saw things outside uh, for decoration. So, first we made the bridge. Now we've made the fountain. And I think next is a windmill um, or a... a, a Windmill or a lighthouse, that's it, I can't remember. Yeah, so that's something else we've got to work towards, but I'm super excited now just to celebrate the town fountain. Okay, we should probably, what's the, we've only got a little time to find Joan. Joan should be here Sunday morning. Let's go, what's the fish going through the path? <laughs> Let's go and find the uh, money rock so we can get some money and buy a red turnip seed. Because uh, we need to plant them today. Because, oh, we've got a dig spot here. We've got the one from last week as well. So we've got two dig spots to, uh, two turnip seeds to plant today. I was super hyped about the fountain. I guess Tour Time's going to stand there all day. So maybe we can't use it until tomorrow. Um, but yes, Phil, hey, I still like Phil's umbrella. Could this be? No. 
We've probably got a notice here about the fountain, I imagine. Oh, no way notice. We have decided to take a, uh, decide to have a grand reopening. We look forward to providing you with the same great service uh, you've come to expect. Thanks to all the residents for their donations to the Town Fountain Fund. We hope our new uh, attraction is a source of relaxation. And the weather forecast, uh, warm early summer like weather will be the norm if this pattern continues. A rainy season will start at the end of June. The rainy season has already begun. Okay, so it's not any, let's just check on Mott's garden. Make sure he hasn't left. <laughs> Mott's still here, that's good news. We really don't want Mott to leave now. Right, the fountain is actually relaxing because bear in mind I like the rain. The rain is relaxing as well. But imagine just chilling and listening to this. It's a little bit more nice than the waterfall even. Which is kind of cool. Sounds a little bit different, I think. Apollo, you happy? Are you wearing the grass shirt? <laughs> Uh, there you are, Skippy. This is perfect. See, I've got something I need your help with, pal. How's the fishing lately, Skippy? You're pulling in the big catches? Yeah, I bet you've been reeling in the prize winners non-stop. So don't just hog all the good fish. Help a friend out and share some of your extras. Do you mind tossing a good barred knife jaw my way? Okay, well, we can try. Uh, I knew you were the type who couldn't bear to see a friend in a pinch. Thanks a ton. We have other priorities first though, we need to find Joan. We have discovered that Joan disappears like exactly at 12 o'clock. Uh, exactly midday, so we've got some, oopsie! We've got some more seeds here. It's gonna be a day of picking up patterns, isn't it? Uh, actually, we better check up here. Sometimes Joan likes to hide up here. Not today. Um, but we've got lots to do today if we want to. We can just enjoy the fountain. We can plant some trees. We can extend our paths. We can sell some stuff in Nookway because it was shut yesterday. So we can finally sell some things. Uh, we can slowly expand some areas here. We want to plant some more trees along here actually. And maybe some flowers in between. We could probably do something with this area here. But where is Joan? I hope Joan's here just because we have the fountain. Um, and also good news, we don't need to water any flowers because the rain is doing that for us. Okay, Joan, you're making me nervous. Where are you? You should be here on a Sunday. Um, oh, there we go. I just saw a star. Star, dig spot. I don't know what, what do people prefer to call these? I guess it's a dig spot is the, the proper term. A little snail there. Joan is playing hide and seek. Oh, we also need the money rock. We'll check this rock as we go past. I think you can actually get the money rock with the axe as well. Maybe the axe is quicker. Oh, here we go. Maybe we should, when we do the feng shui again, maybe we should try using the axe instead of the shovel. Any doubles? Double shovel? No, not today. But yeah, as you know, I love the rain. I love just chilling in the rain. I love just fishing in the rain. Uh, we need to drop our um, Gracie stuff off inside. So good job we didn't find Joan because we uh, haven't got any money yet until now. Maybe she knew. And she was saving us from an embarrassing conversation. <laughs> right, now we have money. Hopefully we can find her. Uh, we will do a spot of fishing today because... I do like fishing. Oh, Truffles is gone. And there's Joan. This is where Truffles lived. Kind of looks weird with... Uh, when the house is gone and it's not gone back to grass. Like, it looks much better like this, doesn't it? Um, so we're gonna have to plant some more. We'll, there's already tulips here, so we'll go and grab some tulips and I think plant out Truffle's house there. Hey Joan, let me just grab my umbrella, keep us dry while we have a bit of a conversation. How you doing? Oh, hello there! I've been selling to Does Joan have to introduce herself like every week, just in case we forget? I think. 
Uh, we, ha we have, like, no money, by the way. We managed to get some money in the last couple of episodes, and we bought it all on Gracie because we had 10% sale and we wanted to start the collection. So we have no money, even saved up. So we can't even get any normal turnips. Um, uh, but we just want to buy the red turnips because we've got two turnip seeds now. So that's going to... Because we missed last week because we missed the, the planting day. Um, so we can go ahead now and plant two turnip seeds somewhere where we will remember to water them. And then we'll go and, we'll go and collect um, some tulips just to fill out Truffle's house. Who's this? Jay? Nice umbrella. Chillam, are you ready for a super hardcore question? If that, uh, if all that was left in this world was Freckles, me, and you, and let's say Freckles had a pastel dot wall, who would you choose, me or Freckles? Uh, what? You! Whoa, right on! You take me over a pastel dot wall? Of course! I think we'd just enjoy some company if that was the case. Oh wait, maybe you're choosing me over my bud. Still, I gotta say, I'm flattered. Whatever, whatever you say, Jay. Whatever you say. Um, but yeah, enjoy the. Oh no, it took it took away one of our trees. I believe we had a tree here. How dare it! <laughs> So we're, we can't put a tree here either then, but we might be able to get away with putting one there if we wanted to. I wonder if that would grow. Oh, we can't move the trees over either. That's okay, we could probably bring a path down here, couldn't we? Huh. Um, okay, what were we doing? Planting our things somewhere where should we plant them that we will remember we could even um, we could even build out something here would it be too much to build out like a little area here We'll just pop some of these down. That would remind us not to run over them. Even though it doesn't really matter with turnips, I don't think. Uh, actually, no, we do want that there, don't we? Because we need two wide, because we've got two seeds. There we go. We're just quickly building out a, a temporary turnip patch. Because... Why not? There we go. And this should remind us to plant them and water them. I actually quite like the idea of having two. I hope two grows at the same time. And we don't even need to water them. Because the rain will do that for us. I hope. That looks pretty cute, actually. I feel like we need another, like a third path pattern. Like we should be able to make a flower bed. Maybe. Oh, at this rate, we're going to have like four characters, aren't we? But we could double, because we can edit these patterns. We could duplicate this pattern. And then like change the, like the, uh, like the dirt design. Maybe. Or just, or we could, oh, I've just had a thought. Maybe we could just change it to like a brick pattern. Maybe we could do that. We might have to set up a third character, but we won't, we won't do that yet. Uh, I'm thinking in ahead in the future uh, when we start building out even more infrastructure. We'll have to pay Mary's mortgage off first if people are still happy to watch. Right, we've also got some mail to collect. We should have a bunch of letters from the villagers. Um, but first, let's just drop our Gracie stuff inside and we'll put the Mario stuff away. You'll see what I mean when I say it's chaotic in here. It's too noisy. Apollo would hate it. Um, so let's just put some of these away in our thing. We'll have to find another drawer to put them in. 
Um, we're going to use... Oh, we're running out of drawers. Okay, 14 is going to be the Mario stuff for now. Um, right. Three, four. I'm just going to put the Mario stuff away first. There we go. And then we'll drop all the Gracie stuff because that's the plan now. The goal is to get some of the Gracie set. It's definitely a cool set. So we want to utilize um, those. And we, we got this one here from DLC. The monthly DLC. So, oh, we've got an extra one. I we'll have to go backwards. What are these ones? Oh, okay. Those can probably... Those are for the feng shui. We might have to sort out our things. Right, so let's have a look here. We've got a bit of a table as well. So there's not going to be too much of a design at the moment. Can we put these on tables? We can put those on tables. Can we put umbrellas on tables? No. Can we put clothes on tables? No. Ah. Uh, in that case, I'll put that this side. That's weird, isn't it? Why can we put accessories on there? But we can't put... Um, anything else. There we go. This is a Gracie umbrella. Um... I'm gonna bring this down towards the table. Maybe we can make like a little beauty clothes shop kind of premium collection of our own to have on display. Uh, we've got another one, haven't we? We've got an Argyle shirt. Do we wanna wear the Argyle shirt? I kinda of wanna, actually, yeah. I, you know what, I think we're going to I just feel like these are all sum very summery, so I feel like we're going to save them for summer. So for now, we'll put these on display here. Oh, that looks a bit crazy, doesn't it? Let's put the glasses up there instead. There we go. That looks better. Um... And we'll just display the hat here. It's weird how this hat doesn't have a stand. Just looks like a UFO laid on the floor. <laughs> and then we've got this. This is really cool because this I don't believe is distributed anymore. So it's super hard to get. Um, let's put that over here. So we can only get that through reconnect now. So super lucky to have that. And we're kind of going to have to stick with those until we get some actual uh, drawers and stuff of our own. Let's put some nice flowers here. Just because these are the only kind of rare and hybrids we have now since we accidentally destroyed our tulips. Okay, we kind of need that for the music anyway. We can't really do anything about the wallpapers just yet. Because I don't think we have any in our storage. We could probably, maybe we could put some of our clothes out on display. I think we've just got, oh, that's from Sahara. Robo wall. Yeah, we might have to stick with the Oh, well, we could go with the modern screen, maybe. Modern tile. Let's have a look. Let's try this. It might look a little bit more nicer. Uh, placing room. Oops. Spread on floor. Hang on more. Uh, oh, yes. We've got another Gracie top, haven't we? Uh, that looks okay. We will change those at some point, I think. But at least that means we get rid of the Mario wallpaper for now. And we'll just keep these all together in here. Is that one? 
Perfect. So clearly work in progress. Gonna be a long time till we get new Gracie items. It's not like we can buy one a day even, because they're like over a hundred thousand bells mostly. Um, actually, do you know what? We've got the Gracie umbrella as well, haven't we? I think I'd rather leave the Gracie umbrella in here. Uh, oh, we've we can't we can't because we've got it. <laughs> we've got it uh, attached to us, so we can't drop it until we go outside. So we'll just have to put up with that for now. Okay, there we go. Little bit of tidying up, work in progress there. Do love the Gracie furniture. That's going to be uh, not necessarily a long-term goal but something we're going to work towards over the next month or so i guess right turnips are watered let's go on the hunt for some tulips that we can take down to um truffle's house just to try and heal that grass there This grass is all healed nicely, so don't mind about taking these tulips. Okay, that might even that might be enough actually. Oh Jay, you enjoying the fountain? Everyone's coming to see the fountain! Very nice. I think we have to interact with it, but we can't interact with it until tomorrow. Because tour time won't move out the way. But again, there's something else to look forward to tomorrow now. Um, so we'll head down to Trouble's house. Uh, this is not necessarily to grow hybrids. This is more to... Just to heal this grassy area here. Um, so... We won't worry about... Uh, laying them out for hybrids just yet. Oh, we might need a couple more. How many more do we need? One, two, three, four more! Um, oh, that one's healing the grass. We can't really take that one. Here's one. Is this one? No, it's some roses. This isn't really what I had planned today. Again, we've kind of gone off on a tangent. Because we saw the fountain, and then we noticed Truffles has... Uh, moved away. Is that enough now? Is it four we needed? But I like episodes like this where... It kind of just takes you in a different direction. Uh, one, two, three, whoops, three, four. There we go. And the rain should water those. So we won't get any hybrids because there's no space, but it should heal the, uh, the grass there. And actually we can get rid of this one now and put down a uh, do we want to leave that one there actually? I think we did we decide to leave it like that? I can't remember. I think if we've got a path coming off, we should probably leave it like that. Okay. Actually looking pretty pretty cool, considering we've got mismatched outfits. Right, so we may as well do a bit of a fruit run, because we've got to go and have a look in Nook Way. Forgotten what the inside looks like, so we, well, since we're down here, we'll, uh, we'll grab some coconuts. Uh, Joan's going to disappear any second now, but that doesn't matter, because we can only buy one red turnip a day. So... Or a week, technically. Um, but yeah, really lo loving how the town's coming together. Uh, the patterns make a huge difference in the older games, I feel like. Uh, what have we got here? Have we got any oh yes, we need to check our mail. Better not forget to do that. Right. Let's run up via the museum so we can drop this fossil. I can't tell if the rain if the rain makes the background music sound different. 
It sounds a little bit more chimey, and I don't know if that's just because it's raining or if it's just the way it normally is. Never noticed that before. Okay, there should be some more big spots around here as well. Not seeing any. So, Monday, well, it's Monday today. We're playing Sunday because we're a day behind, but we've. Monday or Tuesday, let's hope Wendell arrives again. That'd be nice. We can get some more patterns from him. But we'll head in now and remember what the Nookway looks like. I can't I think I remember. Oh yes, it has the yeah, it has the long one at the back, doesn't it? Oh, ooh, backpack, like the backpack. What is that? Contraption. Got lots of summary items in here. Some of the camping items and the surfboard. Yes, yes, tell me, what can I do for you? So we actually have less items available. But in a way that's nice because we, we're not looking for anything specific at the moment. Um, but it's just nice to have a bit of a different store. The only trouble is we, we get less flowers actually. And no silver, still no silver um, rod. I wonder what's happened to our point, is our point system still the same? We'll have to check that out. I've never ever downgraded notes. I didn't even know this was a feature um, until like the last week. Silver member still, visitor points, so we still get three points. Total points, here's your current points, 5,880. Yeah, we still need 4,000 points. Exchange, let's have a little look. I don't plan on exchanging anything. We haven't looked at this in a long time. 1,000 points. Wow, what? You can buy the normal one in Mabel's. Wario hats. I was hoping we could turn it, we can't. What's that, is that from Metroid? The Metroid suit, is it? Oh, we've got the hero clothes, 5,000 points. And there's still so much more to get. One, two, three, four, five. Five more things to unlock. So they're obviously all Nintendo items. I didn't realize. I thought they'd just be Mario items, but that's kind of cool. I just don't want to spend the points yet. Uh, blue trim wall. I don't think we... No. Is that... Would that go in a Gracie? No, I think we'll just stick with what we've got until we actually get Gracie's furniture. Bamboo, no. Birch? Nah. Oh, the fountain! Let's have a look. To I think it does something on the hour. At least I hope it does. Go, go, go! Did we miss it already? Oh, maybe it doesn't do anything. I thought it did like a, a stream. Or maybe it only does like one on the hour. Hmm. Maybe I'm making that up. I know it does it in New Horizons. I might be making that up actually. Okay, we've got some more trees here. I don't know really what we're doing with these just yet. So we'll probably just leave those here for now. Put that there. We will need more and more trees as and when we plant some out. Actually, do you know what? We're going to plant some down by where Octavian used to live. Because we're going to slowly build that area. Hey, nice shirts! <laughs> Quick question for you, Skippy. Do you know what a five ball shirt is? Uh, yes. Really? So you've heard of it before, Breezy? Because I just got my hands on a five ball shirt myself. It's surprisingly nice. I was actually going to recommend that you get one too. If you spot one somewhere, Skippy, be sure to pick it up. You won't be disappointed. That must be our lucky item, potentially. Otherwise, why would they be going on about it? It's a bit weird. Right, I just wanted to plant some here. Um, how is this going to go? Are we going to fit enough in? Okay, do we want a tree there, or...? Do we want a tree there? Decisions, decisions. I'm thinking we keep it even. 
We can always change it. These are the decisions I'm trying not to be too bothered about making because we can always change it and it's such a bad habit of mine is fretting too much over what we decide to do. Um, so I think that's okay. We need some flowers here. Let's move this pansy over here. There. All right, let's go grab a couple more pansies. How many do we need? Three, two, two more. Um, oh, all of our pansies are occupied. Let's just take these two roses instead. Again, we can adjust these accordingly at a later date. Actually, we've got some Cosmos down here. Or Cosmo. Cosmo. <laughs> Always saying it wrong. Right, we need to go to Abel's as well, I've just remembered, because we need to back up the pattern from Mary. So it's turning into a bit of a day of chores. But that's okay. We also need to find a bar dive jaw for Apollo. Was it Apollo? Don't know if we will. They're quite rare. Oh, was it Jay? I can't remember. Someone wanted a barred knife jaw. Um, right, we're just gonna quickly swap some patterns around really quickly so we can... Um, oh, look, we've got some new clothes. What's this? Right, let's uh, just take this temporarily. And that design was by Wendell from somewhere. It's the grass. I want it. Uh, you'll have to erase one of your current designs. Is that okay? I don't mind. Um, let's put it here. Confirm. And then we want to put it in our storage. Oh, what? Mabel, what's wrong? Oh, it's really nothing. Don't worry about it. I just got a letter from someone from my past. What is happening? It got me thinking about old times, that's all. Nostalgia is like so powerful, like memories and stuff. Really, it's no big deal. Now, it's time to get back to work. Oh, what? That was really sad. Mabel, do you want to go to the roost and talk about it? Oh, yes, what can I do for you? I want to know what, 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 what what's the letter? Uh, C design storage. Okay, so we want to back up the grass that we've got going on on, where is the grass? That's going to be the aliens. The grass can go here. Um, it's, <laughs> it's going to be really funny now. All of our paths are going to be gone. Look, watch this. Thanks, come back. now. we will because we're going to grab our stone thing in a minute. But this is what our town looks like now. We've got a grass path. Kind of looks weird. It looks like the... It kind of looks cool, actually. Because we've got like a path outlined. That's really weird. It kind of, in some places, it blends in like there's no path here. And in other places where we've done the path correctly, it looks like we've got a path. That's really cool. But this is almost like the game is bugging and there's a texture missing. That's so weird. I kind of like how subtle it is, actually. That's super weird. I just thought we'd have a look at that because that's kind of funny, but we'll go and get our normal path back now. Now we've backed that up. We got that from Mary. Mary unlocked that path the other day, uh, but we wanted to back it up on a main main profile anyway. So now we can see design storage. We can bring out this um, copy. No, yeah, copy, isn't it? There we go. So we've still got the grass pattern. Here, there we go. Perfect. And now that should go back to... It should go back to the normal path. Now, if it doesn't, we've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Yay, there we go. I really did... I found that quite interesting, actually, because it looked kind of subtle, but because we had the outline of the, the grass deterioration, it kind of looked cool. Uh, but there we go. Right, we should probably do a tiny bit of fishing. We'll just try and see if we can find a... Uh, Let's see if we can find a barred knife jaw real quick. Right, we don't need our thing today, do we? There we go. Right, sort these out. We'll have to save the letters till tomorrow, maybe. Because I think we're going to spend too long fishing. 
But there we go. It kind of makes me want to change the path again. I know I said about changing it to a little bit more of a subtle design. Um, but we'll have to have to think about that one. Right, I think barred knife jaws are large shadows. Oh, sea fishing. I remember now. <laughs> I think I just saw a shadow swimming out here. Where is it? There it is. Ooh, big one. That probably means sea bass. Go. Probably sea bass. Yep, we knew it. Uh, I caught a sea bass, not you again. That's it. Are we in the last acre here? Yeah. Unfortunately, in this game, the rain often appears to bring out the sea bass. In other games, it brings out the rarer fish. I don't know if that's uh, if that was intended or. Oh, a can. Sometimes we. Oh, there we go. I was going to say sometimes we have some luck off the peninsula. So let's try. See if we can get that there. There we go. Another sea bass? Not you again. <laughs> so brutal about the poor sea bass. Okay, I don't know if there's going to be one. Ah, oh, there's one. Oh, this looks a bit smaller. Nope. Same size, same sea bass. Got a river fish going on here. Oh, it's gone under the under the bridge. The baby one. Imagine this. Oh, I scared it away. I can say, imagine that was a barred knife jaw. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another small shadow. I'm trying to think how big the um, red snappers are as well. I caught a horse mackerel. <laughs> So we're just chilling now, doing a little bit of a search for a barred knife jaw. I think it was Apollo. I really can't remember. My memory's terrible. I'm always worried about forgetting like what I say we're gonna do that I forget the things that we've said. <laughs> The good news is, if we don't find one today, um, we'll probably have more luck tomorrow because there's, you can do it over three days, but the rain just doesn't seem to bring out the rare fish in this game for some reason. Apollo's watching us. Was it Apollo or was it Jay? Another can! We must have bad luck. I think maybe the luck affects the um Maybe luck affects the fish spawn rates as well. Maybe that's why Gladys was telling us about the five bull shirt. So we don't keep finding cans. Could be our lucky item. It's a shame there wasn't one for sale. We don't have one in storage, I don't think. Ooh, 
Ooh, something new. Butterfly fish, but not what we're after. Actually, I don't think it is new, but something new for today. They're so easily missed in this game as well, because they could be f swimming just out of frame. Two! We missed one. Oh, red snapper! We'll, we'll settle for a red snapper because that's a valuable item. Or valuable fish for when we uh, sell them. Two more though. We've got two more chances of finding a barred knife jaw. Here's one. I used to love so much swim uh, fishing. Sorry, in the GameCube version when it was raining, just because you'd catch so many red snappers and you'd make so much money. Ugh, octopus. Okay, one more. Nope. We have a very strange beach as well. It feels... What is that? Oh, it's a, um, oh, we haven't got our thing. It's a little dive-in beetle thing. Oh, we have got a net. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Is it a little diving be bug thing? A diving beetle! I give it a perfect 10. Oh, a perfect 10 for the dive. <laughs> right, we need to go and sell what we've got. We might do one more fishing trip. But I don't think we're going to have any luck. We might... Oh, maybe we could carry it on tomorrow. Uh, look at you, Shorty, walking around with a sea bass on you like that, Stealer. Just what are you planning to do with it, if I might ask? We're going to sell it. But if you were thinking of selling it, or maybe throwing it out, wouldn't you rather trade it for this boxing mat that I just happen to have on me this very second? Okay. Really? You don't mind? I could have sworn you were going to reject my little plan entirely. Well, I guess this boxing mat belongs to you now, Stealer. I can't remember who we gave that phrase to. I think it was Tipper, wasn't it? We'll take it, because we're going to sell it anyway. Yeah, we have the next couple days to try and find a, a barred knife drawer as well. But I'm tempted to have another quick little fish. Is the music different in this shop as well? Um. Oh, I forgot to sell the, uh, the mat as well. There we go. Not very much money, but slowly getting more towards our Gracie fund. We've got a lot of big projects really to save up for. We need to do a huge turnip win, really, because we've got our final mortgage still to pay. We've got Gracie's items, which I think totals like two million bells or something crazy. Um, and we've got the another town fund. So still lots to do. Right, let's go and donate this diving beetle before we forget. I wish tour time was out more often. Right, we'll give this to Blathers and then we're going to dump these cans.
cans in the recycling and then we might just have another quick fish see how many's about uh, just because I enjoy it when it's raining uh, donation this is definitely new is it a bug is it a fish who knows I think it's a bug I dare say it's a diving beetle uh, while they're marginally less odious as adults, dive beetles are horrific in their larval stage. Their wretched youths are twice the size of the adults and wield a large poisonous barb. Ugh. And then again, I uh, suppose the adults aren't much better. They're both completely objectionable, really. But enough, I say. Thanks for our donation. No problem. <laughs> Am I being stupid here? Is that that's probably it? That is a bug, isn't it? Um, there we go, yeah. These are said to have short but strong pincers. Ouch! I was just wondering because it was diving underwater. I didn't know if maybe it, in the Critopedia it, it counted as a fish. Because does the frog count as a fish as well? But Weird. Right, we need to go and put these cans in the recycling because we're a good little town resident. And then we can get back to some fishing. I think we've done everything that we set out, or we didn't really set out to do, but that we kind of came across in game. I think we're okay. Look at that, someone is littering. Who is it? Someone's littering. Right, we'll just head down to the beach now. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a barred knife jaw. We, des we deserve some luck, especially since we're running around without an umbrella. We deserve a little bit of luck. Oh, Jay, you got fleas. I want to do something about that. <laughs> okay. Let's have some large shadows that aren't sea bass. Would be nice. This could be. This could be a red snapper. Or a barred knife jaw. Or a can. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a zebra fish, is it? A zebra turkey fish. Is that a gobble gobble? I think this is going to be a horse mackerel. Place your bets now! Yep, horse mackerel. Always look like tuna to me, like a thin version of a tuna. What's this? Oh, it's a small one. I'm gonna guess an octopus. Oh no, another horse mackerel! It looked a bit smaller than the last one. We could be fishing for nothing, by the way. Like, uh, the uh, barred knife jaws, maybe they don't come out until the evening. Ah, I knew it was going to swim away. Let's try and get it from this angle. Perfect. Nope, octopus. That the controller vibrated more for that one. Maybe because it's got more legs. Nope, nothing here. Sometimes the fish swim in this little area and you can't see the shadow when it's overlapping from where the river meets the sea. You guys having a nice civil conversation? Hope you're not gossiping. Wouldn't trust Gladys. Big gossip. Nope, no fish this side apparently. Where are they? I 
Nope. Oh, there it is. Gonna be a sea bass. Almost worth, uh, not worth catching the sea bass, really. I think they're worth like 200 bells. fish. Right, here we go. Could be a horse mackerel or a red snapper. I'm going to guess a red snapper. We got it right! Red snapper! Snappity snap snap! Kinda of was hoping for bad knife jaw though, but we're happy with red snapper. We can sell that. I think they're 2,000 bells. Or maybe 1,500 bells in this game. Here we go. No, a chance, another. If that's a red snapper shadow size actually, that could also be a bad knife jaw size. How far does this cliff go off the edge of the map? A squid! You don't really want a squid. Ah, here we go. These are going to be octopus and horse mackerel. No, another can three. There's only like one percent chance of catching trash, or ten percent maybe. Oh, maybe ten percent might might be a bit more realistic. Try and get this fish here. Ooh, you sneaky, sneaky! Thought I was gonna do it again! don't have many more chances I don't think. Two more! And that would have been two pockets worth of fish pretty much. I know they're rare but we've caught three red snappers now. And I thought they was just as rare as red snappers. Oh no, sea bass. <laughs> okay, last chance. That's the one advantage over the GameCube version of having like physical acres. You can really see which fish belongs to which acre. Uh, not gonna be what we need. Oh well, at least we made some money. We can try again tomorrow probably. Those side quests last. I think the longest we've we've seen them is three days. So they might last a week. I don't know. Maybe it depends on when they request it, but. 
We, we've got more chances tomorrow. Uh, actually, we need to do something about this path here because we need to lay out that house as well. And actually, we need to do Gladys's house as well and these houses. We're going to have to change this main path here. But for today, we'll just wrap up now. Sell these fish, make a little bit of money, saving up towards the next crazy item. But I guess today, the best thing has been just looking at the town... Uh, the town fountain, which we'll be able to use tomorrow. Almost full pockets. There we go. Thank you, Tom Nook. Thank you much for shopping. Come again. We will. We'll come again tomorrow. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how long it is before Tom Nook prompts us to see whether we want to change the shop again. Um, but the highlight of today has definitely been to enjoy this town fountain. And Tor Time is standing out the front of it. You do know that we can't drink the water in the fountain, don't you, Sprout? Why not? What, what have you done to it? But there we go, the town fountain. Um, pretty cool item. Took us nearly half a million bells to unlock and nearly four months of playing. So pretty good achievement, pretty good accolade to have. Um, really happy to have it in the town. I find it a bit weird that it's so close to the bus stop. I feel like we should be able to choose where it goes, but we're still happy. And I'm just glad it kind of doesn't interact with the pond at all. It's kind of a nice feature having so much here. But maybe we could do something here, like build another fence here and have a bit of a flower garden or something. Uh, but that looks kind of cool. Really happy to have it. Let me know what you think in the comments of this fountain. Do you like it? Um, and we should be able to interact with it tomorrow to find out more secrets of the fountain. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you watched to the end um, and if you're still enjoying the City Folk Let's Plays. Let me know. And thank you, of course, um, most importantly to the channel members who support and make these videos happen. Thank you so much. Wouldn't happen without you. This channel wouldn't exist. So please know you're super, super appreciated. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.